Sean, I don't know how scientific this is, but to me it felt like it was so hot that it felt even drier. Yeah. Oh, it was dry out there today, and the dry isn't going to end. That's going to keep rolling right on through the weekend next week and beyond. But the warm temperatures are going to back off as fall kind of barrels in here for the weekend. You can see that our drought monitor from last week, we saw that uh, moderate drought expand across much of southern southwestern Minnesota. The new drought monitor's out today, and it's not good news. We expected it. But the news isn't great. Look at that uh, big expansion of the tan, which is the moderate drought. The severe drought has uh, made an appearance as well with uh, far southwestern Redwood, southern Lyon, parts of Murray, over to Pipestone County into eastern South Dakota. So there you go. And that's going to continue. This trend is going to continue. We're going to see both of those grow next week because we do not expect anything in the way of rain here on the 10 day forecast. There you go. Get out and enjoy the last uh, shot of upper 70s, low 80s here. We're going to start to see the cooler temperatures and some of the colors arriving as fall makes an appearance and this time sticks around for a while. 78 south wind at eight. Our high today again up to 82 degrees uh, across uh, much of the Mankato, North Mankato area. We did have other places that got warmer, mid 80s across far western Minnesota. In fact, it's still 80 in Redwood Falls, 82 in Marshall, 79 in St. James and in Fairmont. High pressure hanging out. That's uh, keeping us dry. We have a warm front that's been lifting across Minnesota here throughout the uh, afternoon, and that warm air has been surging uh, ahead of the cold front. But the cold front is going to blast through here tonight into tomorrow, and that's one of two. It will cool off to comfortable low to mid 70s tomorrow. And then we have another front that's sitting out here to the west. This one's going to bring even colder air into the region on uh, Saturday, but especially Sunday, Monday into early next week. We're going to see temperatures really start to drop. And as I mentioned, that jet stream is still uh, way up and down to our north. But we're going to see this kind of curve in and we're going to see more cool Canadian air sliding in here as we make our way into the upcoming weekend. Now, high temperatures tomorrow, still comfortable, but definitely cooler than today. We're going to knock about 10 to 12 degrees off of where we were today. 73 Mankato, 75 in Fairmont, a little warmer to the south and east. We could actually still get into the 80s down around Mason City and further southeast. But that trend of dropping temperatures is going to continue with uh, Saturday at 65. And then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, highs in the upper 50s. We've not had that yet this year. This time we will bounce back back, I think, perhaps into the 70s by late next week, but only 70s. We're going to stay a little more seasonal. We're not going to see uh, 80s again here, possibly not again this year. Frost freeze risk. A bit of one Monday. Pretty good shot on Tuesday as temperatures drop into the upper 20s to low 30s on Tuesday morning. Get ready to cover those petunias. 59, partly cloudy. We may catch some northern lights tonight, too, if we can get through the clouds here. Tomorrow, it will be cooler but comfortable. Partly cloudy, 73, our high temperature. We'll cool more on Saturday and then a lot more for Sunday. Plenty of sunshine, lots of dry weather here, but it's going to be chilly with highs in the mid to upper 50s. Morning lows dropping into the low to mid 30s. There could be spots that drop into the 20s, especially up toward Hutchinson and into central Minnesota. And then we do bounce back. Talking highs back in the 70s by Mid to late next week, the following weekend, cooling a little bit. Still fairly comfortable fall weather here, but dry on the 10-day forecast. Stacey, back to you.